Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate the first battle of the fifth Robot Wars Grand Final gets underway. Hit notice, gains momentum. I'll tell you what, Bigger Brother withstood that attack very nicely, thank you. And very nearly got in underneath him, no disc. He noticed with a 20 millimeter ground clearance that could be vulnerable to that lifting device that gives Bigger Brother so much more potency in this series. Will the gas last out and how much damage can they take from Hypnodisc? I think there's a gash in the side of Bigger Brother. There it is, on the left-hand side. We've just got a glimpse of it. And the Rose family and Hypnodisc immediately on top then. And they come in with another onslaught. You have to be so strong to withstand this spinning devilish Hypnodisc weapon. And I don't think Bigger Brother are and something flew off there. It's crumpled, it's ruffled Bigger Brother. And Ian Watts and little Joe Eight and a Half and little Elihu Six have done brilliantly to get this far. They've enjoyed it and we've enjoyed having them in the Robot Wars series once again. Oh, Bigger Brother. Oh, tattered and torn. I don't like to watch. And crumpled and well worn by now. And Hypnodisc relentless in its pursuit of its quarry. And I'm afraid that Bigger Brother flipper is not going to work here because Dave Rose is too quick. Oh, even in Lely Car Watch. Can we? Do we want to see more damage inflicted to Bigger Brother? Yes, we do! Hypnodisc with the blade spinning away. Looks like here, battling its way through in worthy style. Bigger Brother, was it dragged? Was it pushing? Through tip top out, through splinter out, didn't quite throw three stegs out. Beat S3, beat Chaos 2, and the run ends here. Or does it, Ellie? Come on, watch again, because Hypnodisc is in the corner, in the CPZ. And we'll need to get out, and something flew out of Bigger Brother there, some sort of mesh, I think it was. Will Ellie be looking now? Hypnodisc seems to be a bit more wary. And I'll tell you what, despite all the damage, Bigger Brother are still fighting on. I wouldn't have minded a Bigger Brother like this. And they've got enough confidence to go for the pit release button, have they? Are they going to nudge Hypnodisc onto the pit release? What a fight back. Oh, Hypnodisc is on the verge of going down. What an upset. Bigger Brother have beaten Hypnodisc. Ellie, look again. Hypnodisc, go out. You've done it. You've won it. Three, two, one. Razor with the huge crushability factor and immediately grappling with Firestorm. And Firestorm's Graham Bone came head to head with Razor, and I wonder if that was wise. But I wonder if he thought we have to get at them quickly because we won't last. And look at the crumpling power of Razor's beak. They say it's part bird, part reptile, the coolest looking robot on Earth. It is a deadly machine. And the Firestorm team know they have a battle to survive. Survive they do and turn away. But look at the front flipper. Is that not wedged open or do my eyes deceive me? Which means the very innards of Firestorm are now open for any Razor attack. Razor slams onto the front flipper and ironically crumples it back into place. And there goes the pit release. Now Razor has Firestorm in its grip. Letting it get away. Firestorm across the arena floor. What next? Back into Razor, slamming it against the arena side wall. We've already had one major surprise. Will the Razor boys have another against them? Ian Lewis, the driver. The weapons operator, Simon Scott. They had Firestorm by their grips. They've let it go again. And Simon looks worried. And the red bot looks concerned too. And Razor here. Oh, I thought they were immobilised. They've come back onto the attack to take on Firestorm once more. Oh, across the pit! How did they survive that? I've heard of walking on water, but walking across the pit of oblivion, never before have we seen that. 
Firestorm away into the safety of the Central Arena area. Razor out again, head to head, beak to flipper, metal to metal. Dancing so near that pit once again into the CPZ, almost an action replay. Against the tyre, Firestorm pushes, Razor retreats. They are skirting with oblivion, literally. Sergeant Bash, a crash, and Firestorm is pinned into the CPZ. And away, what action we've seen here in this battle. Once more, they crumple. I'm not too sure whether the Razor Beak is working fully. Down it comes once again. But it seems to lack that penetrating power we've seen in the past. Firestorm is in its grip. What will happen? It looks like we're going to go to the judges. This was an unbelievable contest. What a battle, one of the closest I've seen. Lip and tuck, no quarter arsenal given. And I don't think we've seen its like before. Well, well, what an amazing fight. Both robots still mobile. A right ding dong of a battle. I wouldn't want to be a judge, not right now. And in comes Robo getting straight from the start against Hypnodisc. Look at that blade spinning away. Ho -ho. Off goes Hypnodisc. The message there, Robo, get on out of it. In comes Robo getting again, though. Hypnodisc spins and comes in on the attack. Oh, goodness me! Four on, Robo getting crumpled by Hypno. D I S C. Oh, no more letters in that. Never mind. Hypno Disco, it certainly is, though, dancing around on the attack of Robo, getting being shredded here. All that work, 100 hours over four months to prepare Robo, getting and shattered in second by the Hypno Disc team. Again, look at the front of it, buckled and torn. It's sort of limping along, the shell fluttering away, almost coming off. Oh, how sad! The boggle eyes! It's like, oh. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't laugh. Look at that laid bear. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Poor old William Ryle. He's only 13. He's put this machine together. <laughs> oh, dear, look. There's nothing left of it now. Hypno disc, what a mighty machine this is. <laughs> it's on fire, I think, as well, Robo getting this smoke coming out. <laughs> ah, what's Ginger saying there to little William? <laughs> There's a way back into this for us, I don't think so. <laughs> the wheels buckled now as well. There's no shell, no wheels, no weapon, no hope. Oh, Hypno Disc, this is the most complete destruction I think we've seen in Robot Wars ever. Oh, there's the CO2 Cease. canister. Oh, that was splendid. <laughs> well, well and truly beaten. Well, Hypno Disc and Robot Geddon, what a fantastic spectacle. Good battle here. Wheelie Big Cheese is the quicker machine. Both 99 kilos, both from Langport in Somerset. Axel flipped! Oh, goodness me, by Wheelie Big Cheese! That has to be a Robot Wars record flip! Look at the distance achieved here! That is immense! Out of the arena, out of the Robot Wars galaxy! Cease. Huge power! Well, I've seen it all now! Straight back into the CPZ, in comes Razor Onslaught on its side. And I mentioned beforehand, if it was flipped over, it could stream itself right, but not on its side, I don't think so. Against the arena wall, and Matilda pressurised and punctured by Razor! Oh, dear! Look at that! Matilda taking one on the shell. The rear of Matilda has never been quite seen like this before. And I have to say, thank goodness Matilda is on fire. 
Razor is destroying Matilda. There's the flame from Matilda. The tusks were raised. I think it was just the last sort of nervous spasm of Matilda. They're in major, major... <laughs> Matilda, what's happened to you? Call on all your friends, the house robots. Kill a lot, do the gallant thing, take on Razor. Onslaught's long been forgotten. <laughs> forgotten. Matilda, kill a lot. You're a knight of the realm, sir. Get in, sir, and protect your Tildy. No, sir. No such fear. We'll let Tildy bear the brunt of the attack of Razor. Is there anything left of Matilda, I wonder? Onslaught, there's Sergeant Bash to have a jet. There's nothing left of Onslaught, I'm sure. And just when Matilda thought she was away, back come Razor. Down goes the pit. Go on, chuck Tildy down there. Get Matilda in the pit. Oh, Matilda, what's happened to you, dear? I think it's time you took a long rest, Matilda. <laughs> Go on. Take a long convalescence, Matilda. Kill a lot. Was Kill a lot nudging Matilda towards the pit there, everyone? I'm not too sure. The house robots seem to be teaming up with Razor against poor old Matilda. What's going on? Biddy Blood and the Razor team have won this Southern Annihilator. Poor old Matilda, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. What on earth has happened to the darling of Robot Wars? Matilda, yes, I know it's sad, isn't it? But she is our darling. Oh, Matilda, we will not waltz with you for a while, it would seem. <laughs> Panic attack. Worthy, but beaten. Oh, fast on four and underneath Mr. Psycho. Can they do it? Look at Mr. Psycho. That is a huge weight. Cease. Mr. Psycho saved by the cease. No! Timber! That's a first.